Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here for a project polish update. Um, this is my third update since I introed. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be honest. I super slacked on wearing nail polish this last month. I don't know what it was, but just when Christmas hit, it just kind of like put the brakes on for me for like beauty things. But now that it's after the first of the year and I'm starting in my new job, I will be able to do more polish. Um, of course, I don't have polish on right now, but yeah, let's just get into the polishes that I used and where I'm at on them. So first one I wanted to go over was the Maybelline Color Show in Impeccables Gray. Um, I just let this sit and it finally did pull all the way down. So I just wanted to show you guys so that way you knew I legit got all the way down here. Not that anyone doubted me, but I just feel better showing. Um, so that way it's not like I pulled a fast one. So yep, look at that. This is done. Then for my 30 day December project pan, I did have a nail color in there. It was the Rimmel 60 second nail color in 120 hot chili pepper. I made it all the way down here. So this was after one week, two weeks, and four weeks. I used up more than half of this nail polish. I would say close to three fourths, which I'm really excited about. Um, since the bottle, like the bottom like slants a little bit towards the direction where I made my markings, um, I could probably get one or two more manicures out of this. And honestly, I'm just not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not going to call it quits, but if this pops up in a future video and I haven't made any more progress, um, you guys kind of get a heads up because I really don't like this color and using this much up of it, like I feel like is a really good victory. But then the other side of me is like, no, like you still have some, like you need to use that up. So I'll deal with that and figure it out and I will let you guys know. Then for my base coat, I have the Revlon Quick Dry Base Coat. I am still right there. I used this once, maybe twice. Um, if you saw my last update, I did complain about how I think this might make my nail polish like not dry. So um, I went back and forth about it and I decided I'm just going to sparingly use it. Like if I have a color that's like this that stains my nail because I used this without the base coat and it had discolored my nail, then I will use this. But if it's just a regular, you know, like a nude color or something that isn't going to be staining, then I'm not going to use that. So that's how I feel about the base coat. Then I made some more progress on my Nicole by OPI Drying Drops. Not that much. I think I used this one time, but still going. Then we'll do base coats, or I mean top coats. Um, first, I have the Sally Hansen No Chip Top top coat. Um, I seriously use this just a little bit. Like, can you guys see that it's just like right there? Um, I just put a three next to the line from last time because I used it, but there's not enough room for me to mark another line. Like it would have merged into the line from number two. So we'll just know that I made really, really tiny progress on this guy. Again, whenever I did wear nail polish, I didn't use this. Um, that make, even though it says no chip, it really does make nails chip. So just so you know, then the Sally Hansen big matte top coat. This one I actually used a little bit more. So I was able to draw a line. Um, yeah, use this. I had it on my natural nails, but it kind of wore off. Um, but yeah, still using that guy. Then there's three actual polish colors. Um, let's start with the least amount of progress. Least amount of progress is this Nicole by OPI Carrie Underwood in Southern Charm. Same thing with the, with the top coat. I used this a couple times, but the shape of the bottle, um, there's just not enough difference for me to mark a line. So I put the three next to the two because I actually did use it. Then I used this Revlon Transforming Effect Nail Color in Nude Graffiti. I wore this on my nails once, I think, and it was brand new when I added it in, and now I am down a little bit, so that's exciting. Um, I just put this on my natural nail. I did like three or four coats so that way I could get like a bunch of the glitter or the graffiti or whatever that is in here. Um, and it looked really nice, but it didn't last very long. It chipped pretty quick as well. 
Then the last nail color I used was the L'Oreal nail color in Rough Around the Edges. Um, this one I used uh, the most. I wore this for Christmas, I wore this after Christmas, and I have this on my toenails. So um, I made a little bit of a bigger dip on this guy. So yeah, really quick, really short, really fast because I just wasn't wearing nail polish this last month. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me. Um, when I see positive comments like in the comment section, it's like reassuring to me that I can I can do this so thank you guys so much um, I will definitely be stepping up my nail polish game for the next month and stay tuned for my update in February okay thanks again for watching bye